Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am um, demonstrating my workflow of conducting literature review uh, utilizing three tools, Zotero, Excel, and Notion. So the first step you can see on the screen, um, on the left, I have the Zotero reference management software. On the right is the Excel. I copy the title of one reference into from Excel table to Zotero, and uh, I search for um, the existing PDF file in this reference, rename it according to the metadata. I open the PDF file and uh, start it um, abstracting information from it into the Excel table. So I predefined several fields that I would like to input information, such as um, is is this is this uh, um, reference with full text? What is the research purpose? Um, what is the research type? Um, where is the research site? Things like this. So I will go through the whole document by skimming skimming the content, not in depth the reading, okay, just to get the um, information um, briefly from the document, because the purpose of this Excel table is to um, organize the um, information um, from each document and then compare them. So um, when there's information existing for one um, particular column in the Excel table, um, I will write it down. Uh, but if it doesn't, I will write uh, an A into the, into the cell. So I will read through the PDF documents, highlighting some important information. Um, and I, along this process, I I would try to finish the Excel table um, on the row of this literature. So as for the color, um, I don't have a particular color system for annotating a PDF document, but some of you may have. Um, so if you can share in the comment section of this video, to also let me learn from you, that would be great. And uh, yeah, for some uh, columns of this document, it's an A, an A, an A. And this, we're going to fast forward this annotating process. So um, you will understand um, how I annotate and highlight some titles to, um, to have a better structure, sensation of the whole document. So the purpose of this scheming is not to um, read the document in much detail, but only to collect desirable information from it and get an overview of the whole document. So the next step is to open the notion um, that is linked to this reference. And so I have already pre-linked both Zotero and Notion. So um, under each reference, you will find a Notion link. I, dub I just got double click it and then you will jump to the reference record inside my Notion database. And uh, I will just um, I will just fill in the information as I did with the Excel table. And uh, I will write a short note about this reference based on the first time reading. So um, here is to basically write a summary of what you have understood um, from skimming the literature. And uh, uh, this can become the very, you know, the very beginning of your perhaps the next reading of the literature if you mark it as um, to read again or very important 
So all these fields that you can see on the interface of my record here, um, they're predefined. So this is the um, my reference uh, library database in Notion. As you can see, there are different views to it. I just opened the um, literature I read earlier from this uh, library. Um, but I also have the Sleepbox database, which records permanent notes. So for each um, paper I read here, I will write a literature note summarizing what this literature about. So I recall the notes here um, in this database. And this each page, each reference record is directly automatically um, injected from my Zotello database. So here you can see the um, sleep box system I have to record um, permanent notes. So it follows the Zettel custom method. And uh, outside of this uh, um, literature I just read, I would like to add one new note here. So there are some predefined um, fields as well to to put into the information and uh, you can also um, add link to the reference and you can also add a text and uh, interlink with other notes you have in the system Okay, now I will repeat this procedure with the second paper. Again, I'll copy the title into the Zotello, look for the reference in the software, search for the PDF file. If there isn't, um, click to view this reference online and uh, search for the PDF. Um, so you can click you know, search existing PDF file as well from the Tello interface, but sometimes you don't see that, and so you have to search on the internet um, manually. But with this record, it is possible to edit through um, the interface of Zotello. So again, I re rename the file and I open it and uh, look for the desirable data from the paper and input them one by one um, into the Excel table.
So after that, I again open the um, Notion um, literature page and write the um, summary note of this literature and fill in the um, necessary data um, according to the predefined fields. Sometimes for some literature that you imported into Zotero, there's no full text PDF file automatically attached. So you have to use um, some uh, online search tools such as Google Scholar to look for the full text PDF file, download it, and attach it as attach, um, attach it to the um, reference record inside the Zotero. So the Zotero import uh, function doesn't always uh, um, input, uh, import the right format of the reference. So you always need to double check and uh, um, fill in the correct information to, to adjust the format, things like that. So when you download the PDF file, doesn't need to you don't need to worry about the the name of the file because you can automatically rename it inside the title.
So that's the end of this video. I hope the workflow um, has been useful for you. And if you have any question, you can leave it uh, under the video in the comment section. And I will see you in the next video.